In a universe teeming with billions of galaxies and countless stars, a perplexing question arises. With such a vast cosmic playground, one might expect it to be buzzing with life. Yet we find ourselves in the grip of an uncanny silence. A silence that echoes across the cosmos, bouncing back to us unanswered and unexplained. This is the cosmic conundrum that we face. Our universe is an incomprehensibly vast expanse, so immense that even our most sophisticated telescopes can only glimpse a fraction of it. Each galaxy is a sprawling metropolis of stars, with each star potentially hosting a family of planets. The numbers are staggering, with estimates suggesting that there could be more galaxies in the universe than grains of sand on all the beaches on Earth. Yet, despite these astronomical numbers, we have yet to detect a single sign of extraterrestrial life. No radio signals, no spacecraft sightings, and certainly no alien visitors. It's as if we're alone in a cosmic desert, shouting into the void with no reply. This stark contrast between the potential for life and the lack of detected life is what physicist Enrico Fermi famously encapsulated in a question, where is everybody? This is the Fermi paradox, a question that has puzzled scientists, philosophers and dreamers alike for decades. If the conditions for life are not unique to Earth, as we increasingly believe, why haven't we found any evidence of life elsewhere? Where are the alien civilizations that should, statistically speaking, be scattered throughout the cosmos? Could they be hiding, choosing to remain silent and observe us from a distance? Have they transcended physical form and exist in a way we can't perceive? Or is there something we're missing, a piece of the puzzle that could explain this great silence? These are the questions that keep us awake at night, staring at the stars and pondering our place in the universe. This is the crux of the Fermi Paradox, a question that continues to baffle us. Amidst the cosmic symphony, we find ourselves in an eerie quiet. This is what we call the Great Silence. This silence is a potential solution to the Fermi Paradox, the puzzling silence from the stars despite the high probability of extraterrestrial life. As we peer into the cosmos, we expect to hear a grand cosmic symphony, a symphony composed by countless civilizations, each playing their own unique tune. Yet all we hear is silence a deafening, disconcerting silence. This is the Great Silence. The Great Silence is a metaphorical concept, reflecting our inability to detect signs of life beyond our own planet. Despite our best efforts, despite our most advanced technology, we haven't picked up any interstellar melodies, not a single note. It's as if the universe, in all its vastness and diversity, is a grand orchestra with no musicians. But why is this the case? Why is the cosmic symphony so eerily quiet, there are a few possibilities. Perhaps we're not listening in the right way, or maybe we're not listening at the right time. Maybe the music is there, but we're not equipped to hear it, or maybe, just maybe, we're the only ones here. This great silence is both perplexing and humbling. It reminds us of our smallness in the cosmos. It forces us to contemplate our place in the universe, our existence, and our loneliness. It pushes us to ask bigger, more profound questions. Are we alone? Are we unique? Or are we just a tiny part of a grand, silent symphony? In the face of the great silence, we may feel insignificant, but we shouldn't feel hopeless. After all, silence isn't always permanent. It's in the silence that we find the potential for great discoveries, for new understanding, for breakthroughs that could redefine our understanding of life in the universe. Despite countless possible singers, the cosmic music remains silent. But maybe, just maybe, if we keep listening, keep exploring, we might one day hear the first notes of the cosmic symphony. And what a beautiful day that will be. Could it be that we are not alone, but simply unable to perceive the others? This question takes us down a fascinating path of speculation and possibility. Let's consider the idea that advanced civilizations may exist, but we are unable to detect them. It's possible that these civilizations have surpassed our level of technological development, operating on a plane that's beyond our current comprehension. Imagine a civilization that has harnessed the power of quantum communication, or even something more advanced that we haven't even theorized yet. To them, our radio waves might seem as primitive as smoke signals do to us. Equally intriguing is the idea of cosmic isolation. Just as some individuals or societies on Earth prefer solitude, so too might certain extraterrestrial civilizations. Perhaps they have chosen a path of introspection, focusing on inner development rather than outer exploration. Or it could be a matter of self-preservation, avoiding contact with other civilizations to prevent potential conflict or contamination. But what if it's not a matter of choice? 
What if these civilizations are so far advanced that they've transcended the physical realm entirely, existing in a state that's undetectable to our current instruments? Just as we can't see certain spectrums of light without the aid of technology, we may be blind to these advanced civilizations without the necessary means to perceive them. Could we then be like ants in a forest, oblivious to the human hikers passing by? We're part of a much larger universe, but our perspective remains limited by our current level of understanding and technology. Of course, these are all speculative scenarios and the truth remains to be discovered. But that's what makes the Fermi paradox so compelling. It's a cosmic puzzle that invites us to stretch our imagination, to question our assumptions, and to keep pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. Indeed, the universe is a grand mystery, and we are but humble detectives, piecing together the clues one star at a time. They might be out there, but remain elusive, hidden beyond our technological grasp. A scene script, or could the silence be an ominous sign of civilizations lost to their own destructive tendencies? Let's consider this possibility for a moment. What if the cosmos is not silent because of advanced civilizations beyond our comprehension or the sheer vastness of the universe? What if it's because civilizations have a tendency to self-destruct before they can venture out into the cosmos? Think about it. Throughout our own history, powerful civilizations have risen and fallen over and over again. The ancient Egyptians, once a dominant force in the world, saw their civilization crumble over time. The mighty Roman Empire, known for its extensive political control, eventually fell into ruin. Even the Mayans, who were advanced in many aspects, disappeared mysteriously, leaving behind only remnants of their once thriving society. Now imagine this pattern on a cosmic scale. Civilizations across the universe, each reaching a certain level of advancement, only to succumb to their own destructive tendencies. Perhaps they exhaust their planet's resources, or maybe they create technologies too destructive for their own good. Perhaps they fail to manage the societal complexities that come with advanced civilizations, leading to their downfall. This notion, while disturbing, is not without merit. It's a reminder of our own potential for self-destruction. We're at a point in history where our technological capabilities have outpaced our wisdom. We have the power to alter our climate, to create weapons of unimaginable destruction, and to engineer life itself. But do we have the wisdom to use these powers responsibly? What if we, like those hypothetical civilizations, are unable to reach out into the cosmos in time? What if we fall victim to our own destructive tendencies before we can make our mark in the universe? Could we too, be on a path toward self-destruction, unable to reach out into the cosmos in time? As we ponder on these unsettling thoughts, let's remember that our future is not yet written. It's up to us to decide whether we will rise above our destructive tendencies and reach out into the cosmos, or follow the path of civilizations lost to time. Perhaps the universe's sheer size is the key to understanding our solitude. This statement brings us face to face with the daunting immensity of the cosmos. The universe is vast, so vast in fact, that it's hard to wrap our minds around its scale. Let's think about it in this way. If you were to travel at the speed of light, you would still take over four years to reach our nearest star, Proxima Centauri. And that's just our closest neighbor. There are hundreds of billions of stars in our galaxy alone, and each of these stars could potentially host planets with life. Now consider the distances between galaxies. Even if we were to somehow achieve the speed of light, it would take us two and a half million years to reach the Andromeda Galaxy, our closest galactic neighbor. And remember, these are just the nearest stars and galaxies. The universe extends far beyond what we can see or comprehend. This vastness could be a major factor in why we haven't made contact with other civilizations. Even if life were to exist on a planet orbiting a nearby star, the signals they send our way would take years to reach us. And that's assuming they're using a form of communication we can detect or understand. The same applies to us. Our radio signals, which we've been transmitting for just over a century, have only reached a tiny fraction of our galaxy. The odds of an extraterrestrial civilization picking up our signals and responding back are astronomically low. So what does this mean for our search for extraterrestrial life? Well, it doesn't mean we should stop looking, but it does remind us of the scale of the challenge we face. In the end, the universe may simply be too vast for us to hear the cosmic symphony. But that doesn't mean we should stop listening. After all, the music of the cosmos could be playing, just waiting for us to tune in. As we delve deeper into the Fermi Paradox, 
we realize that the search for extraterrestrial intelligence tests our curiosity, perseverance, and patience. The Fermi paradox isn't just a question about the universe, it's a reflection on us, on our innate desire to explore, to understand, to connect. Regardless of the immense challenges, we continue to listen for that cosmic symphony, yearning to discover if we're truly alone in the universe. This journey reminds us of our place in the cosmos. Amidst the vast expanse of galaxies, we're just a tiny speck on a pale blue dot. Yet we dare to ask the big questions, to reach out into the unknown, to try and comprehend the incomprehensible. The Fermi paradox also forces us to confront our own future. As we ponder the fate of other potential civilizations, we can't help but wonder about our own. Will we overcome our challenges and venture out into the cosmos? Or will we fall, like those civilizations that might have come before us? But perhaps the most important lesson we can draw from the Fermi Paradox is the importance of patience. The universe has been around for billions of years, and it will continue to exist for billions more. Our search for extraterrestrial intelligence is just a blink in cosmic time. We must remember that the universe doesn't operate on our timetable. So, we keep listening. We keep exploring. We keep asking questions. We may not find the answers today or tomorrow or even in our lifetimes. But with every question we ask, with every discovery we make, we're taking one step closer to unraveling the mystery of the Fermi Paradox. In the end, the journey to understand the Fermi Paradox is as much about understanding ourselves as it is about understanding the universe. It's about our desire to know, to grow, to connect. The answers may elude us now, but the search continues. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the great silence and the Fermi paradox. We've journeyed through the cosmos, pondering the paradox that puzzles scientists and space enthusiasts alike. A cosmic conundrum that despite the billions of galaxies, each with billions of stars, we still find ourselves questioning, where is everyone else? We've contemplated the great silence, the eerie quiet that reigns despite the possibility of a cosmic symphony of countless civilizations. Could it be that they're singing songs we're not equipped to hear? Or perhaps they're choosing to remain silent, preferring isolation over interaction. We've also pondered the unsettling possibility of civilizations rising and falling before they can make their mark on the cosmos. A chilling reminder that progress does not safeguard against self-destruction, and raises the question, are we destined to follow the same path? And let's not forget the sheer vastness of our universe. With such tremendous distances between stars and galaxies, even the most advanced civilizations may find interstellar travel a daunting task. Perhaps the universe is simply too big for us to connect. So, as we continue to unravel the Fermi paradox, we're reminded of the importance of curiosity, perseverance, and patience. The answers may elude us for now, but that doesn't mean we should stop exploring or questioning. In fact, it's the opposite. The Great Silence and the Fermi Paradox serve as a call to action, to keep looking, to keep listening, to keep wondering, because who knows what we might discover along the way. As we continue our cosmic journey, we keep an open mind, hopeful that one day we will stumble upon the answers we seek. Until then, the Great Silence continues.